Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday or Friday, one of those two. It is 84 degrees. 84 degrees. Sunny, slight breeze. I, I know, I know, I know. I went into town because I got to make this truck legal. And uh, and so I had to do that today. And there, are, you, first you got to register with the county for the personal property tax before they will let you get the uh, license plate. And then you got to do the title. It was only like 30, 34 bucks, something like that. Man, Arkansas is so much better than Illinois, even with that proper personal property tax thing. Illinois, it's one hundred twenty dollars just for the plates. And the title, the last I remember, is $98 for the title. So just getting a different vehicle, you're out $220. Bucks. So I, uh, I enjoy the lower fees in Arkansas. Okay, so that's what I had to do today. And so now this truck is going to be legal just in time for me to go nowhere. Uh, Got to get the plates on now, though. Vegar girl, little whiting true blue boy. Are you guys coming to check me out? I'm just uh, doing some baby chick watching. Do you like doing baby chick watching? So yes. No, oh, you can't see through here. Well, I moved the baby chicks last night. Last night, I moved the baby chicks that were inside out to their outdoor brooder. And before I did that, I had to put their leg tags on them. So what I ended up with was 16 white and true blue purebreds and 13 of the third generation olive eggers that I've been breeding here. So right now we've got 29 in there and I've got a clip for you. Twenty nine baby chicks in the brooder all with leg bands uh, Somebody sent me a little bag of the little rubber band type leg bands and thank you for those because those worked those little uh, Those little plastic ones that I got were too big and they were falling off. So uh, thank you for those little rubber band ones That way I could put these into the brooder and keep them uh, separate well be able to be able to identify them they're not separate they're all in the same place and let's see okay enough on that subject my peas are really off to a good start I just hope it doesn't stay 85 degrees because peas do not like the heat so the idea is to plant them early so that they get done before the really hot weather gets here and that is sometimes hard to do in Arkansas but uh, looking good so far on the P front. Okay, my next task was to move the truck so that I could use both of them without having to pull one out and pull the other one. That was that, that beginning clip in yesterday's video. That's what the deal was there. I had to pull the old one out and then walk over to the new one so I could pull it in. 
but I found a spot where it's wide enough for both of them so now uh, I've got access to get in and out with both of them. Um, I drove the older truck this morning because I didn't want to drive the newer one without plates and all that stuff. So, yep, good to go. It was a beautiful day around here. Sorry for the wind noise. Uh, yeah, almost 85 degrees, sunny, uh, good breeze. You know, I didn't get a ton done, but I did work up a sweat, so that's something. Going into Danville, which is where I had to go for the the uh, truck stuff that's like 40 minutes 45 minutes away so that takes a good chunk of hours out of your day and um, you know when I've got baby chicks in the brooder over here yeah every uh, every 15 minutes I'm checking on them uh, what else I, saw, I got my I saw butterflies I've been seeing butterflies for the past couple days but I got one on film today so that was cool peas are doing good everything's good Hope everything is good for you, at least good enough. Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody.